Hey YouTube fam, this is Ken with Learning Zen. Thanks for watching. Camtasia recently released their 2023 version, and with the 2023 version, there are some new features. In this video, I'm going to show you one of those new features. I'm going to show you one of those new features. Mo motion paths inside Camtasia 2023. Okay, so here we are inside Camtasia 2023, and I have a video of uh, a curvy road, and there's already a car on it, so if we just kind of run this a little bit, you'll see the cars moving, and that's all part of the video. Now, what I've also done is I've brought down this image of this car and then resized it so it actually fits on the road. It can probably be even a little bit smaller, uh, but I wanted you to be able to see what I'm doing. Now, if I wanted this car to get down here to the bottom of the road, I'm kind of stuck. In Camtasia 2022, I could have used a custom animation, and, but that would have just drawn a straight line. And now we can adjust for these curves using the new motion paths. So to access the motion paths on the left, you will come to your visual effects and click there. And the effects are all in alphabetical order. So you're just going to go down and find your motion path. So I'm going to take this motion path. I'm going to put it right on my car. There we go. And now you can see in the properties panel, we have a motion path and I now have the motion path down here as well. So if we just run this through, you'll see the car goes down there and it just follows this path. Well, let's make this a little bit longer. So we can just drag this out. And now we have a longer time that this car will be traveling. So if we move this again, you can see it's just moving a little bit slower and it's just taking a longer time to get to that final point. All right, so now that we have this all set up, I have my beginning point and I have my ending point. So now you can click on any of these points and when you do, you will see that you get handles and you can move those handles and it will adjust your line. Okay, so depending on where you're at or which point you're on, that's what will be available as far as the line type. Okay. So I'm going to take my ending point and let's make the ending point kind of where this car is right now. So there we go. Now, if I just play this through, you'll see that it takes a shortcut and goes through the trees. We don't want that. We want it to follow the road. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this a little bit, just go a move my playhead a little bit. So let me click here on this first one and see if I can adjust this a little bit. Uh, there we go. So you can see how that motion path moves and I'm just going to drag down here to get it to follow the road better. Now I'll click on this point. See if I can adjust this one down. Aha. So now I got this going down there. And if I click here, I can get this one over a little bit more. And you can see now that I'm having a problem. I'm going off the road here. I'm going off the road here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shorten this up and I'm going to make sure my car stays on the road. So there, so now let me run this through. It's going to advance, advance, advance till it gets to that point where it looks like it's starting to go off the road. And then what you can do is click on your motion path on your timeline and then right click and add a motion point at the playhead. So we'll click there, add a motion point. 
And now I can adjust this motion point to make it stay on the road better. So there we go. We'll just move that one. Work with me. There we go. Move that one there. Then we'll advance a little bit. Yep, we're starting to go off the road there. So I'm going to add another motion point. Make my adjustments with the handles there. So now I'm going to oh, let's pull this in. And I can also adjust the top one now too to make sure it stays on the road. And then you'll continue to add motion points where you want whatever you're using to move. There we go. So now if I play this, here's what we have, car rolling down the road. You can see it's a little bit jumpy. Uh, and that's because of how much time is in between. So each of these is a period of time. So if you have a long time between uh, two different motions, it obviously take a little while to get there. So what we can always do is click on the motion itself and then make it smaller. So make it a shorter period of time that this is happening. And it might look a little bit more realistic. So let's run this through. It's a little bit better. And over on your right in your properties panel, now we can kind of fine tune this. So you could ease it in and out. So I'm going to ease both. And that is just how fast the effect happens in the beginning and at the end. So if you want to, let's say you wanted to make it so the car was like peeling out and like taking off really fast, then you wouldn't use easing in. You would just let it go. But you could use the easing out and that will kind of slow the car down as it comes to that final point. And you can also auto orient. So if I click auto orient, you can see it just flipped my car up in the air. So sometimes auto orient works well. Other times uh, it's not the choice. You can see my car's pointed down now and it just did a flip. Maybe if you're using like, um, like a bird or, or something like that to, kind of mimic the not linear flight. So now we have our motion path set. We can just click finish editing. Lines go away and let's see what happens. Goes down and crawls its way back up there. And meanwhile, the rest of the video is playing. So you can see that it definitely takes some fine tuning. It definitely has a few limitations. Uh, but all in all, this works really well in the right situation. So there you have it. How to use a motion path in Camtasia 2023. If you like this video or any of the videos on our channel, why don't you go ahead and give us a like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you can be notified when we come out with new videos every week. Until next time, remember, laugh more and learn more. See ya. So sometimes Ori ought mm. Hey, YouTube fam. Hey, YouTube fam. This is Ken.